Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's topic, we are going to do a project with measurement. The materials required are okay, a breadboard, some jumper cables, um, an Arduino Uno, um, a ultrasonic sensor. That's it, and a computer for coding, and even this USB cable. Okay. Okay, first take the ultrasonic sensor so the thing is that the ultrasonic sensor so as you can see there's a T and a R the R is the receiver and the T is the transmitter so in the name we say ultrasonic sensor for example bats dolphins use this ultrasonic sensor so this transmitter will transmit ultrasonic waves and if there's an object blocking it the um this will turn off and then this will um the rays will come back to the receiver so that's how it works and there are two types of um ultrasonic sensor one contains three pins and one contains four yeah so first take it and put it in the breadboard so as i told in my previous video the um breadboard so this is horizontal and these are vertical so these both are vertical, so this is vertical, this, 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 horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. So now, let's go to the connections. Oh yeah. Take an Arduino board. Okay. Also some sensor on my jumper cables. yeah okay so take the ultrasonic sensor and put it right over here in the vertical um place so this is the ground trigger trig echo i mean vcc trig echo ground so always the ground is ground so connect it so it doesn't matter which ground you're plugging it into so now the vcc the vcc is to the um 5 volt pin in the power okay so this one we don't need a um, um like a monitor it will just come in the serial monitor so another one so for trig i'll put it in the ninth one um it doesn't matter which um digital pin you are plugging it into like we have to change it in the code so i'm just gonna put it in the ninth and um, let me take another one yes on the echo So this one to over here to the ten tenth digital one. Okay, so now let's get into coding. So now let's connect the USB to the Arduino. And connect into the USB port. Yep. So for you, verify and save it. So if it's nice, you just save it. I saved it already, so it's not coming. And then press upload. And if you open the serial monitor, um, see zero meters. So I'm just putting my hand. So let's see it with a scale. So now let's just get on to the action okay so i'll just upload it again 
and at the top right corner there's the serial monitor click it and it will open and let's start it okay so i'm going to put it in 13 centimeter see the reading it is 13 yeah so now let's put it in uh, 30 yeah so now let's put it in uh, 8 So let's put it in 17. Yeah. Okay, um now so guys I just added a LED and a bustle and I changed the code a bit. So like when the like and so I just like made it like a car so we can just put this in a car like that but for example this is the wall so when the car comes like to 15 meters I mean 15 centimeters the light bulb will glow and if it goes to 10 centimeters more the buzzer will start ringing and um, so we will know that we have to get we have to stop the car so the um, the connections are first this, as I told, it is um, horizontal, so I connected this to the LEDs. Um, the, this is the ground, okay? So I connected it right over here, so it's horizontal and goes here. So this is the um, ground, so the ground is ground negative. For the positive, I connected a digital pin, and the digital pin is 2. For the buzzer, I couldn't like put it like this or else I would have. So this blue is for ground. You can connect it to any um, ground. This orange is for um, um, a digital pin. I put it in 3. I will send you the circuit diagram um, down in the description. Don't worry. And the code, the thing which I added. Yeah. So the thing which I added is that like after this trigger distance and then like I put a if sentence if distance is um I mean less than five centimeters so digital pin two will be I ground will be always I so I'm just giving a two to the LED and uh, another is if distance is less than ten centimeter um I'm giving power to the um third digital pin and I put a delay and then low delay that means it's kind of like tick 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 so let's try this out and even the serial monitor will also come as I showed before I'll just clear this clear output yep wait I'll just yeah so I'll just get the scale this one sec I'll just put the scale perfectly okay so now I kept the roller so I'm just adding this and uploaded it already so I will for first I'll just take this popsicle stick so one sec um yeah I'll just start it okay I've got it okay so as you can see um one sec I'm, I just kept my hand right mistakenly one sec please um, like I'm just going to keep it in the perfect okay yeah 20 one sec yeah, 26. Okay. So I'm going to keep it in 26. And 26 is coming. 
No, I'm going to keep it in 22. Yep. Yep, 22 is there. So, I'm going to keep it in 17. Yep, 17. Now, I'm going to keep it in 15. So, the LED is um, coming on as it is 16, I mean 15. So, I'm going to go to 14. The LED is still on. And the serial monitor is getting 14 as well. So, everything is perfect. Going to 11. Yep, it has 11. And the LED is ringing. So, so 10. So, the bus is starts ringing at 10 centimeters. Okay, now... I want to do it with this car. So, for example, we are in this car and we are taking a reverse. And when we reach 15, we will get an alert. One sec. Yep. Sorry, I just kept my hand there. Yep. Yeah, so we are going back on the LED school. I'm coming. When I go, go back so much. Uh, the buzzer is start ringing. So, yeah. Buzzer stops and the LED stops. Okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Bye!